guys welcome back to my channel Haro Week Gaming and in this episode of If Echoes I am reaching that's it now here we go that's it current that's level level 8 at 50 percent okay and now I'm upgrading my Ferox to Naga and if any of you curious of what is Naga here you go Naga is an assault battle cruiser and she is using large rail guns and let's take a look at the roll bonus for her roll bonus she got minus 50 95% large railgun power grid need. So, why she can use large refloat railgun or maybe snap nose railgun because of this minus 95% large railgun power grid, power grid need and minus 50% large railgun capacitor need. Okay. Next, for the next bonus is Advanced Battle Cruiser Engineering Bonus per level. Okay, plus 5% Large Railgun Damage and plus 5% Large Railgun Optimal Rates. So that was nice. Okay, for the next bonus was Advanced Battle Cruiser Command Bonus per level plus 5% Flight Velocity and minus four percent signature radius so i think this naga have a slighter smaller signature radius because of her bonus and this is the basic info overall defense flight velocity the base flight velocity is kind of slow but we can upgrade it and for the capacitor is not I think it's not really high compared to the Ferox, but the cargo hold capacity is okay, 1,150 meter cubic. Okay, and the shoot resistance is just like this, the basic. Okay, now the fitting. I got six rifled rail gun. And this is the Caldari Navi Large Rifle Railgun. <coughs> um, this is a Metal Level 6. I still don't have resources to get the Centum or Corelli. But I'm sitting at my optimal range is now for uh, 54.89 kilometers and accuracy fall off at. 27.01 kilometers so your maximum range right now is about 81 kilometers scope yes 81 kilometers i got six of them and two target painters this is for us to the enemies more easily so you get two target painter and this is for anyone if get close okay for the low slots i got outlaw large seal booster dealer medium micro web drive mm, this is post adaptive invulnerability build <coughs> this is just for safety measures a collide large capacitor battery okay um this is just uh, speculation and i'm just trying my first test flight with this naga so because of the cut of the power grid need of large rail guns so we can bring more one large modules <coughs> And the next is Marketeer Tracking Computer. 
She got train skill bonus. Okay, for the Riggs. This is just level 1 Railgun Collision Accelerator. Level 1 Railgun Press Aerator. Level 2 Anti EM Screens. And this, this is what I give for. So I can have large battery for grid bonus 7.5%. And for this, dynamic fuel valve, level 2, enable capacitor need adjustment minus 30% for microwave drive or afterburner. So you can turn on your microwave drive more often without <coughs> reducing your capacitor very much. And this is the flight velocity adjustment, 15%. So, our base navigation is 294.34 meter per second. So, for the beta cruiser, that speed was very, very nice because she got more bonus in velocity and I give her more velocity bonus. Okay, and let's begin the battle test. The battle test I got is this. This is the new encounter system, and you can change them from beginner, normal, advanced, hard, and expert. And I'm now sitting and at hard. This one, hard. So we just got. Uh, I mean, if we choose hard, we are just got the encounters with. That's eight and that's nine enemies. And we are testing with that's nine enemies. Cunning means. Okay, so the minimum the minimum reward for the encounters is like about 1.5 million ESK and that was very nice. <coughs> Let's try to refresh this. Okay. Okay, there's a uh, seven millions. Yes, K. Six million. Oh. Okay, let's begin the field test. And because we are sniping mode, sniping mode, so we are going to approach or warp from 65 kilometers. Let's try to be careful this time. Because of the large battery, we got a plenty, plenty, we got a plenty capacitor. Okay, that's nice. Let's see which enemy is getting close fast. Oh, I think this one. PT Mandicore. Okay, nice. Let's stop. Mm -hmm. The enemies can, I think the enemies can't reach me. Okay. <coughs> For the damage, I think it's still about 2,000.
this is still in our maximum range and i think with this amount of damage i think that's very nice and later we are going to try to finish encounters on snap nose rail guns i don't know if it's going to be good but we will try oh let's take a look at the capacitor large capacitor battery is very very nice okay mm, let's try if we click this uh, tracking computer oh 82.64 kilometers and accuracy fall of 39.86 kilometers oh very nice that's very long So the enemies can hit me from this range. Okay, I think this target painter is very nice. Those modules should help me to hit the enemies often. Oh, there's still grazes. Okay. I think I love this seat setting. Naga hitting Naga. Naga two. Oh, the color is nice. Oh, 3000. Nice. Oh, the enemy start. I don't know if the enemy is starting to hit me, but the missile is not reaching us. Okay. Oh, this is the scorpion. Let's see. Oh. Very nice ship. Okay. Hmm, maybe the enemies can hit me if the get close to about 60 kilometers, I don't know. Let's try to approach him for 6, 70 kilometers. Oh, very nice. <coughs> oh, three thousand. Okay, so the maximum limit is about three thousand. Okay, then that's nice.
No, because these ships is better ships. So she got more health. Okay. I think I will turn off this red shield. Okay, okay. The activation time is about 6.66 seconds per shoot. Mm, that's a little low, but I think that's okay. The tracking speed. You must be careful with your tracking speed because the tracking speed of this large rifle rail gun is very, very low. The tracking speed is just about 2.78. And if someone get close to you, I think you can't hit them. Okay. Mm, I think this fit is good, but I don't know if how to perfect this but maybe change the red shield for another marketing tracking computer mm, okay let's try some other time with story storyline trying So, with the increase of that encounters, I think the time to finish the story is we need more time to finish this encounters. Because if we do rains like this, I think this will be very, very Okay, let's take a look which one is getting close. Oh, this one. Okay, Cormoran 2 in the dictor. So the the maximum range for this target painter is about ninety point eighty five kilometers. Oh, that's very very long. Oh, that is rock. Yeah. Let's take a look. Okay, that's very, very nice. Okay, let's get close to 70.
So much is our maximum speed with oh 100 and eh 1300 that's nice okay let's go Okay, um, the bounty is nice. The battleship got about 400,000 ESK. Okay, let's approach a bit. So, I have seen the other assault battle cruiser like Tornado or um, maybe, okay, I forgot what is the another one. Let's take a look. Ah, this one, Tornado and Oracle and Talos. Mm, I think the Talos is not very nice because she have bonus like large railgun tracking speed oh maybe i think this one is for brawling okay and naga is for sniping and this tornado tornado okay this is for cannon and oracle for lasso they said this is the Oracle is the best assault battle cruiser, mm, but because I like rail guns, so I choose Naga. Okay, nice. And maybe we can compare with the other weapons for the activation time. Okay, the base activation time for large rifle railgun is 7.31 seconds. And let's take a look at the cannon. The strike cannon. It's about oh, eleven point eighty nine eh, eighty eight second. Oh, so that's 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 long. And for last one, let's try. This one catapult activation time nine second. So, mm, okay, the best activation time is the rail guns. The tracking speed is about the same. Okay, let's take a look for the missile launcher. 
there is two missile launcher rapid missile launcher activation time seven second and okay this one for the sniping oh activation time is about 16.54 second Ooh, that's very long so for the activation time the railgun is winning because railguns got shorter activation time but for the terms of damage i think the cannon the cannon and laser is still higher than railguns okay so there's a minus and there's a plus for the for its weapons and it packs to your liking if you like railguns you can choose naga or if you like brawler railgun you can choose talos but i prefer this naga more and this is the setting for solo encounters and if you have friends in for your splitting you can change to any other dps setting maybe bring one magnetic field mm, that's fine or maybe we bring another mark tracking computer that's fine too so you can have more range but i think this this range we are sitting now about 80 kilometers is good okay okay which one is oh this one this one is getting close very fast okay nice Approach to sixty five or Let's kill another Carmoran. Sixty-five. Whoa, I like this large battery. Okay, nice. Let's take a look at the bounty. The first bounty is about one million and thirty four thousand USK.
mm, the manticore arts is very nice Okay, so that's a little hard to hit the frigates. And that's why we must be careful for the storylines because there are a lot of frigates and destroyers. So let's compare again for the limits of the main, I mean the large gun. Let's take a look at this catapult large beam laser. The electromagnetic base is about 236 and the thermal is 144. Okay, that's good. Let's take a look at this. Mm, okay, so the railgun is little. I mean, for the number, the railgun is little low than the laser. Okay, let's take a look for the cannons. The cannon. Okay, this one. So, oh, okay. So, the cannon got more more higher damage but the activation time is about 21.04 oh sorry so what is ah okay so i'm i'm watching the wrong cannon the last time i'm very sorry so the large strike cannon got activation time about 21.04 second oh, that's very that's very slow activation time but the damage is very very high i think maybe maybe they are all same about comparison but the alpha strike i mean alpha damage number is very high i mean the canon the canon alpha damage number is very high so you must be careful when you have tornado and equip the large strike cannon but i think the tornado will have a lot of good number damage number okay so this is the third wave and if i don't remember there is still one more wave and we are going to finish this quickly. So let's try to approach to 44 to our optimal range. Yes, 454. Let's see how much damage we will make from our optimal range. Plus the target painter. OK. 
Okay, this is it. Okay, nice. Oh, three thousand and eight hundred. Very nice. Okay, so from our optimal range is very good. We have a very good image. And the enemy still can hit us. That's weird. Okay. Okay, for so the image is very stable. Okay, nice. Okay, nice. Okay, the last wave. Let's take a look at which enemies is getting close to me. Okay, it's this one. So there's always one enemy on the encounter who get close to you very fast. So I think we are we are set our approach to 54. Okay, nice. Okay, if you have a low tracking speed, so I, I think you must be on straight line like this. So you can hit your enemies more accurately. And you got your target painter, which is nice. Oops, sorry. I think we must kill this Mandicore horse. Oh, someone hitting us. Oh, I think that was a lucky hit. Three thousand damage per seven second is nice, I think.
اوكي so the enemies can hit us from 60 kilometers Okay, nice. Let's kill that scorpion who can hit us from afar. Okay, the advantage of this last battery is we can charge our shield very often and we don't need to burn out our capacitor because the reserve buff of this battery is very very large and that's just nice. Okay, let's take a look at this, the another version of the railguns. The snub nose one. The large snub nose. Okay. So, the activation time is a lot. No. I think this is very wrong or not. But the activation time is a bit slower than the rifle rail guns. I don't know if it's right or not, but um, okay, the optimal range is about 7.2 kilometers and the tracking speed okay. So the activation is a bit slower than these. Then this revolt. Ah. Then the revolt railgun one. Hmm, okay. I don't know what happened, but maybe we will try the snap those one later on. Okay, the second bounty was so there is three million ESK for the uh, for this battle and about eight hundred thousand again for these two battle ship. So it's about four million ESK bounty. Okay, so that's nice. Okay, good. <laughs> Look at the explosion of the battleships. It's very very high. 
What? There's still missile coming for me. Okay, so one encounters about seven million is taking time uh, like forty five minutes. Is it worth it for the encounters? I don't know. I think that's not really worth it. Maybe that seven encounter is more worth it. Hmm. Maybe we can try with the calculation next time. Oops, I'm, I forgot to <laughs> turn off our Mars Shield Booster. Or maybe storyline tier six is more profitable. I think maybe we will try later. Naga finishing storyline solo. Okay, uh, this table damage is like. Hmm, okay. 2500, we can say. This table damage. Oh. I can see penetrates, 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 hits. Okay, that's nice. Yes, the stable damage is about 2,500, 2,600, 2,800, something like that. And with our optimal range, we never got damage like about 1,000 and blah 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 so it's still very nice damage to to have and surely i will upgrade these rail guns to another version which is more stronger okay we got it we are finishing we are finished the story hard and that is that the field battle test pve for this naga and maybe this uh, this ship is more better if we got our fleet tanking at front so we are just focusing on dps models okay um if you like this video please comment and if you like naga or if you like me again please comment and i can say thank you for watching my video and don't so don't forget to subscribe us to support us and turn on your notification bell to know if our next video is going to live okay thank you once again and Ciao!